Hello there, YouTubers. Once again, we find ourselves in front of my 79 Ford. I've got a question for you this week. I can't figure this out, so I figured I would consult you guys and let me give you a little bit of background information. Starting at the master cylinder, I have Hydro Boost brakes off of a probably a 2002 or 3 model F250 350 truck with the accompanying master cylinder. And then in the cab, I made the connection to the pedal. Well, you can't see that, but by welding on an, ex an extension to the pedal. So there you can see that's a disc disc PV4 combination valve. It's again, it's for disc brakes front and disc brakes rear. The lines from the master cylinder feed this, and this has got the metering valve, proportioning valve, and um, load sensing valve, or whatever it is that gives you your emergency brake lights. Um, as you can see right now, I've got the tool inserted in there to keep the, the brake pressure sensor valve from moving back and forth during bleeding. That's that white thing up top. Anyway, this is a brand new component. And down here, you can see I have in line installed a Willwood adjustable proportioning valve to dial the pressure down to my rear brakes because I was still experiencing rear brake lockup. My brakes then go to a, uh, a bulkhead fitting here and feed down via a stainless steel line to a T that distributes the brake fluid to both rear calipers. Now I do understand that this is not a conventional setup and is a bad setup having the brake caliper mounted to the bottom. You would think with this mounted here that I could not get a good bleed on the system and it's also exposed to stumps and rocks and all sorts of things. While I do plan to change this next time I have this hub apart, uh, I don't have any problem with my rear brakes as far as bleeding goes. I can lock these babies up no problem. And these are GM disc calipers on the rear of this truck because that's what I could get a kit for. And on this side you can see the calipers installed in the proper position. Again, with stainless steel lines, no rubber on this truck. On the front, we have a similar setup. We've got a stainless steel line fe feeding a T going to the front calipers. And these are factory calipers off of uh, the model Dana 60 Ford pickup this came out of, a 92 L350. They're pretty big calipers, not as big as the new model Dana 60s, but big enough to stop these 44s, I would suspect, and they are of course fed with stainless steel lines as well. Now the problem I'm having with this setup is pedal travel. It's odd, but that master cylinder is a inch and three eighths bore, which is plenty big to actuate the brake calipers and give me a tight pedal feel. It's bigger than the factory master cylinder that was on a 92 F350, which these brake calipers came off of. Still, I have a, a bad brake pedal. So you might say, well, it's probably air in the lines, and I would agree, except I have used different, numerous methods, and I'm quite sure I have all of the air out of my front brake calipers and lines and master cylinder. It's been bench bled numerous times i've got a kit to bench bleed it i've tried doing it the old school way with just plugs and pressure and i've tried vacuum it all sorts of different things no change so i really don't think i've got air in my lines but what i do think i could possibly have is too much travel in the brake caliper itself before it really makes a tight squeeze on the rotor so the caliper itself is kind of retracting a little bit and not, but anyway, that, that, this is speculation. So I decided to test this and I'll show you what I did. This isn't the best place for this valve, but this was testing purposes and it was easy to put it in line here. And that's a residual valve, a two pound Willwood residual valve. Now this is normally used for when your master cylinder is lower than your brake calipers, like in a hot rod. My thinking was it could add just a little bit of preload to the calipers give me back just a little bit of my pedal stroke. So I installed this and it did help just a little bit, but I still am not getting the pedal 
that I think I should. I, I have to travel probably, I don't know, halfway down before it gets firm. So that, that's the enigma. Why am I not getting a good pedal on this truck after basically a brand new system throughout? In fact, there's one steel brake line on the truck feeding the rear, which of course I have no problems with the rear, that is factory. Everything else has been replaced with the exception of the brake pedal. And I have modified the brake pedal to fit this brake booster. I don't think the brake pedal has, is short you know, too short of a stroke for the brake booster. I don't think it's too long. Uh, it could be. I'm open to suggestions, but um, I really want to hear from you in the comments. Before I uh, conclude this video, let me show you how much the pedal is actually moving down. Here's my brake pedal. You can see it's not too far from the floor. Now, this was a factory power brake setup, so the pedal is pretty short from the factory. Um, but here we go. All right, I can't push it all the way to the floor, but I'm within two or three inches. Now, let me give it another... Now, notice how slowly it returns. How slow it returns. All right. That last little bit takes a little while for it to return. What's going on here? Now, as I pump it up, I never can truly get a very firm pedal, but the pedal does firm up. And believe me, it definitely stops the truck. That's not the problem. But I want this to be as close to perfect as possible. And what am I missing? Let's go through the new parts again. Starting at the master cylinder. Uh, master cylinder is brand new. I actually replaced another brand new master cylinder with this one, thinking the master cylinder itself was faulty. And that was after replacing another master cylinder that was not brand new but had been working on the truck for years and this truck's always had this problem since i've converted it uh but anyways so three master cylinders all have the same problem it stops the truck fine but you can see what the pedal does brake lines all new metering or combination valve brand new and it's a disc disc setup um i've got a valve for dialing down the pressure to the rear which also yields an interesting phenomenon with the brakes, which is if I turn down the pressure to the rear, I get a firmer pedal because the master cylinder is building much more pressure to compensate for the rear brakes, which don't seem to have a problem actuating. I don't wind up with uh, better brakes, but I do wind up with a firmer pedal if I reduce the pressure to my rear brakes, again, because the master cylinder is overcompensating. So uh, new lines down to the T, new steel lines to stainless lines to the new brake calipers which of course came off of a 92 f350 pickup truck the brake pads are not new the rotors are not new uh this is but this problem has gone on for years and i have definitely changed the brake pads and in, in that time let me know what you think about my brake system do you see any obvious errors or flaws. What am I missing here? Why do I not have a proper brake pedal? Anyways, thanks for watching. Looking forward to hearing from you.